Hey YouTube, this is the Robinhood Investor. Hope you had a great week of trading. As always, I really appreciate your support. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to learn about investing, subscribe to this channel. Today I'm going to talk about Shopify, which has been benefiting from all the e-commerce activity recently. Taking a look at Shopify, ticker symbol SHOP, currently priced at $824 per share past year, up 200%. You can see that it's, it's been surging since early April and past five years up 2,844%. So it's been surging and it, there's a lot of continu uh, continued growth potential. Scrolling down a bit, currently market cap is $98.5 billion. P ratio does not exist, which means it's not profitable at the moment. And dividend yield is zero, which means they're reinvesting all profits back into growth. Scrolling down a bit, you can see that uh, Shopify is partnering with Facebook. Facebook's getting into the e-commerce space with their marketplace feature, and that'll help Shopify benefit. Taking a look at analyst ratings, 41% give it a buy, 50% give it a hold, and 9% give it a sell. So looking at the earnings, you can see that Q1 2020, it beat expectations even though it's not profitable, but it beat the expectations significantly. As I can look at the, the recent earnings report, you can see that retail is changing due to recent circumstances. Scrolling, out, scrolling a bit, uh, you can see that one platform, every channel, any device. So they're trying to make it omni-channel and make it easily accessible on any platform and or any device on the single platform. So it's a single integrated back office. They try to make it, um, even though there's like different features in the e-commerce space, they try to make that easy setup uh, on the back end. Uh, there, here's some of the tiered pricing, basic $29 per month, uh, $79 per month, and an advanced $300 a month, or Shopify Plus over 2000 per month. In terms of total addressable market, it's actually very huge considering that um, e-commerce, everyone's trying to digitize their, their business, their platform to make it accessible on the internet because no one wants to go to the stores now. So here's how they acquire their merchants. You can see that it's a funnel, entrepreneurs to small to medium business to larger brands, casting a very wide net. Here's some examples of small businesses, entrepreneurs who are using their platform. You can see that the ecosystem is very extensive. 4,100 apps, um, apps extending product capabilities and 26,400 agencies and web designers using the platform. Referred at least one merchant to Shopify in the last 12 months. And during these times, I, I feel like those numbers will grow considering everyone wants to convert their their business to online. And you can see that it's a very competitive market position. Amazon, of course, being the largest uh, in terms of retail e-commerce sales at 37.3%, but the next is Shopify at 5.9%, which beat eBay. eBay used to be second place, but Shopify took the second spot. You can see some of the other ones, eBay, Walmart, Apple, Home Depot, Wayfair, and they have strong, consistent revenue growth. You can see that ever since it started uh, to 2015, 90% growth, it's 2016, 72% growth, 59% growth in 2018, 2019, 47% growth. And then I, you could see this upward trajectory. So it's definitely growing drastically. Now, the light blue is merchant solutions versus subscription solutions. So you can see that in Q1 2020, plus 47% relative to last year, 2019. So 470 million versus 320 million. So that's that's the type of growth we wanna see. It's definitely a growth story for this um, platform. So strong, consistent MRR growth, which is monthly recurring revenue, MRR, and 50% uh, CAGR, that's compound annual growth rate. So that's very, steep growth year over year and quarter after quarter 
And Q1 2020, that's 55.4 million versus back in 2015, 7.4 million. So you can see this upward trend and I could continue to see that growing in the long term. And with increased diversification in the subscription solutions revenue, you can see that the apps, monthly recurring revenue with Shopify Core or Shopify Plus, as well as uh, the Core. Core takes up majority of the revenue at 63%, 24% for Shopify Plus, and 13% for apps. But you can see this quarter after quarter growth, which is the type of growth we like to see. Strong, consistent GMV growth, which is gross merchandise volume. You can see that from 2015 to 2016 to all the way to 2019, great growth. And Q1 2020, even more solid growth. Scrolling down a bit, it's a very powerful business model. Continued growth year over year. And you can see that Q1 2020, over 44% relative to last year. Operating leverage. So this is uh, adjusted operating expenses as a percentage of revenue. We want to see this to continue to go downwards because we want to minimize expenses. So Shopify is investing to help businesses adapt to a fast-changing commerce landscape. Um, you can see that on 2019, 53%, and then Q1 2020 increased a bit to 58%. Um, I can see that because they're trying to push out more digital tools to the merchants. They are increasing their expenses, but I can see that going downwards uh, over time. It's going down a bit. Annual cohorts provide strong foundation for growth. So you can see that this is very strong growth ever since 2016. Shopify flywheel. So secure, secular tailwinds, um, rise of self-employment, e-commerce growth. So due to recent uh, circumstance, there's more opportunities for merchants, more gross merchandise value, more channel partners and capabilities. So Shopify is in a great position for growth. So in terms of investment highlights, uh, they have large and growing opportunity in their multi-channel commerce platform, powerful business model um, that puts merchants first and it's data advantage. So the, the data they provide to the merchants can help them grow. And it makes commerce for everyone from customers to their, um, their platform. Going into some of the numbers, uh, reconciliation of gap figures. You can see that steadily looking at the, the gross profit year over year, it's growing very impressive numbers. And you can, I can see that going uh, increasing in the long term. Percentage of revenue, great, great numbers. Um, the, the thing I don't like is the profit. It's uh, it's not profitable at the moment, but it's definitely a growth story. So as the platform scales, grows, and more users use the platform, I could see it being profitable in the long run. But in the short term, it's going to increase costs to provide more digital tools. That's all for this video. What are your thoughts on Shopify? Comment down below. Remember to use some of our links below, and both of us get $20 for using the personal capital or a free stock for using Robinhood. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to learn about investing, subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video.